Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Upgrade or Trash It. In this video, I've got the Dell Latitude E7240 and I'm going to be walking you through how to install Windows 10 on it. So let's get straight to it. I'm going to turn, turn it on, press the F12. And then I've got my Windows 10 on the USB stick, so I'll tell it to go to the USB storage. And off we go. Okay, so this first section here is all about the language, time and currency and keyboard or input method. That's all set to the UK, which is perfect for me. Okay, just going to whistle through the. Just going to go for the advanced install, and I am going to delete quickly. Delete these partitions. I'm going to pause the video at this section. Okay, so the file swap from the USB to the laptop has finished and we're just about to go into our first up, uh, restart. I must apologise for the awful glare on the screen. The screen on this laptop is very shiny um, but I've got a blind closed in this room and still the shadow or the reflection is very very clear unfortunately. So quickly whilst it's doing this next bit let me tell you a little bit about this laptop. It's got an i5 fourth generation processor in it. It came with four gigabytes of RAM. I've since upgraded it to eight gigabytes of RAM it's got a 128 gigabyte solid state drive in it. It's got a 12.5 inch screen, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels in dimensions. And it was originally shipped with Windows 8.1 Pro on it. So with an eight gigabyte of RAM and an SSD in it, I would expect this to install in around 10 to 15 minutes.
okay so I'm just going to set up do some initial setup the region is correct for me the United Kingdom I want the UK keyboard I don't want any additional keyboards okay so while this is finding my Wi-Fi let me just pause it okay so it's connected to my Wi-Fi which is great now I would also expect for this um, Windows 10 installation to install with most 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 of the device drivers correctly installed and all of the important ones and what do I mean by that I mean that the display is working properly at the right resolution and also the Wi-Fi is is installed correctly and we can see that it's already installed the Wi-Fi because it's connecting to my um, Wi-Fi at home. Okay, I want to set it up for personal use. Okay, I'll just pause this while I put in the details of my account. Okay, so I'll just put a pin in. Okay, and so this is where we put in some of our privacy things. I'm just going to click no for most of them. I don't want to customize it, so I'm going to click skip. I don't want to connect it to the phone. Neither do I want OneDrive set up. Neither do I want the Game Pass. Okay, I don't want Cortana, the voice assistant, involved.
Okay, so there we go. Um, by my reckoning, that is about 15 minutes. So that's pretty good. Let me just check, see about the... about all the different um, device drivers. So we can see that the Wi-Fi is there, which is pretty great. The resolution is working fine. Bluetooth has been installed properly. So yeah, in 15 minutes, we've got a full installation of Windows 10 and the all the hardware is working properly. Let me also just Click on the um, see about activation. There we go. It's Windows 10 is activated on it, so it's looking perfect. The only thing now that I want to do is I want to just I'm going to shut it down, and then I'm going to time a restart. How fast does it load? Okay, so here we go. How fast can I get onto the onto a live web page? Excellent. So by my reckoning, that is about 45 seconds from turning it on to actually being able to work on it. So that's that's pretty good. So that's a Windows 10 installation on the Latitude E7240.